In this video, I hit the beach early morning, getting that morning bite in, went out with my buddy Manny Lopez and his family, and this is what we caught. Fish on, first thing. Just got this rod out. Hadn't even set my second rod up yet. He's fighting pretty good. Come on, be that morning pop. Come on, come on. Here it comes, here it comes. Bluefish. Nice bluefish too. First fish of the day. Nice thick bluefish. He's probably about, I don't know, 13, 14 to the fork. Not a monster, but put up a good fight. But we're gonna get this guy back. All we're keeping today is Pompano. And that was on the DS custom tackle float with frozen shrimp and a sand flea fish bite. And anytime I catch a bluefish, make sure to check your rig. Cause yeah, look at that. It's all chewed up. I'm gonna pull on it real quick, see if it breaks. I think we're good. Pop it now, look at this guy. He just threw that rod out. He's already got a pop. Nice, dude. No, that's a keeper. How far out was he? Just past the where he's going. All right. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably a throwback, sadly. No, I don't know. He's going to be close, man. They've all been about 11 to 12 inches. Short. Yeah, just, just short. Like yeah. eighth of an inch. Yeah. He's a thick one, too. They're here, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that rod. It is on, it is on. It don't feel like a pop though. We'll see. It's fighting just like that other bluefish. I might be throwing too far. I got another one on my other rod. I'm doubled up or across, one of the two. He's not fighting, just wait. Catfish, come on, man. It's going on, man. This feels like a good fish. Take me for a walk. Yeah, that's a big cat. Hopefully that's not what this is. Oh, he's fighting. That ain't no catfish. Another blue. Look at that perfect hook set. Oh, sadly ripped his lip pretty bad. Another blue fish along with that catfish. It looks like it's gonna be a multi-species day. All right, I need to get all three of my rods baited back up. They're eating shrimp and fish bites today. Hopefully it's not another catfish. That'd be depressing. Oh no, here we go, come on. What we got? Bumpin' now, baby, yeah! 
That dude, who knows what he was doing out there? That rod didn't go off or nothing. He's just out there swimming around. And that's what I love about these owner Mutu Light Circle Hooks. They will keep a fish on. I mean, I can't even get them off. They went for shrimp with a green shrimp fish bite. First pompano of the day right there. Let's just throw them in the sand, right? But there he is. Hard to say if it's a keeper or not, but I'm gonna go measure him. He's 11 and a quarter. That's good enough for me. First one. Yep, let me get that fish. Same rod, same spot. Let's see what we got. That wasn't long at all, maybe a minute. Over there chatting. That feels like a pot right there. Good head shakes, running in, going sideways. Yep, that's a pom. Let's pull him right out. Little guy. No, that's not a pom. My bad, it's a blue runner. Got me excited though. What is that? Species number four today. Hopefully there's not a bunch of these this morning. tell if something's there it was like snag yeah there's something there there's definitely something there my sputnik got buried in the sand luckily i was able to get it out something little little jack fifth species of the day though that's pretty cool these fish get real big. Check this video out. I'll be catching some right from the beach. I am back at the house. Only caught that one little pompano. When I had already put it in the cooler, so you gotta bring it home and eat it. So I'm gonna cook it up for lunch. Just do a nice, simple, easy lunch. I luckily had another pompano that I'm gonna go ahead and cook with it because my girls, they love pompano. They wanna eat some too. So I'm gonna show you how I cook that up real quick in the oven. We're gonna set the oven to 400, let that preheat. I'm gonna use a big Pyrex pan and just put some oil in it. You can use vegetable oil or olive oil. Then get a brush or whatever and just spread the oil out. Make sure you coat the bottom real well. This is more to keep the fish from sticking than anything. And then I leave the skin on my pompano. I let it cook and then you can leave it on if you like the skin or take it off. It's completely up to you. I find it easier to take off after filleting the fish. But we'll get those fillets in this pan and then get them seasoned up. I use Slap Ya Mama and this Everglades seasoning. I use them together. I feel like it's just got an excellent flavor. And then just coat that on the fish, go over it a couple times. And then same thing with the Everglades. Pompano's got such a rich, buttery flavor. It doesn't need a lot of seasoning. Honestly, you could just do salt and pepper and it'd be delicious. So just keep it simple. Any seasoning you use, just don't overdo it and it'll be delicious. The oven just finished preheating, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these pompano fillets in the oven. And we're gonna cook those for 20 minutes. You girls ready to eat some pompano? Yeah. Yeah, you excited? Mm -hmm. Ellie's got her cattail. Look at that. She's getting ready for Halloween. Yeah. What would you like to do? What are you gonna be for Halloween, Alyssa? You're not going to tell us. It's Rapunzel. Rapunzel? You excited? Getting a lot of candy. Oh, look, Ellie got her costume. She's so cute. What are you? Um, a leopard or something. A leopard? Okay. The 20 minutes is up, and I go ahead and broil the fish for like two or three minutes. So set the broil to high. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do three three minutes. And I do that to crisp the top of the fish. It gives it a nice brown color. Just makes it, the texture and flavor, in my opinion, much better. Shaggy, ready for some pompano too? I bet you are. Shaggy smells it. He loves pompano. 
We always give them a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh man, look at my lens is getting steamed up. That's why you gotta do that broil. Get that bubbling going on. Oh man, I am ready. Get those out of the oven. Oh man, if only you could smell this. I love pompano. It is the best fish to catch out of the surf, hands down. I'm gonna get these plated up. We're gonna sit down at the table and enjoy this meal. Oh yeah, look at that. We're just gonna do it with some potato chips. Keep it nice and easy. Girl's over there munching it down already. What you think, is it good? Yeah. She got the head piece. That's the best part of the pompano. That good? Yeah. That's good. Nice. Well, this is actually one of my favorite ways to cook it. Oh, yeah, I, I know it's simple bite. and it's just baked, but I just love it. And pompano, man. Yeah, like it's all about the fish. Like I said, keep the recipe simple. Don't over season it. You can't mess it up. Well, we're all gonna enjoy this meal. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, take care and tight lines.